The stakes are rising. In 2013, Razon took a gamble, throwing his chips behind a $1.2 billion casino along Manila Bay, one of four players fighting to win on a Las Vegas-style strip called Entertainment City. After making your fortune in ports, you've decided in the last couple of years to venture into the gaming business. Why? Yes, are you tired of dealing with containers? You want to get your hands on something well, more exciting? Well, the gaming business turns out to be a lot more difficult than the port business. Really? How so? Well, containers don't complain. <laughs> and people do. <laughs> it's a very complex business. Um, and uh, I wanted to do something in tourism because of what, how the Philippines is positioned. But I wanted to do something on a large scale. So it had to have a gaming component to be able to justify building some, something like this. We've seen tremendous growth with visitation from mainland China since the thaw in the relationship with China now. So that's helping generally in tourism coming to the Philippines. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.